So in this video, I just wanted to show you how I crinkle straight synthetic hair. Hello my moons and suns, come right here with Elan Blue Talks where I help you to create stunning wigs through easy to follow steps, explore simple protective hairstyle options, and share tips on growing healthy, beautiful hair naturally. If you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button to catch more videos just like this. All links in this video is going to be in the description box below. So in this video, I just wanted to show you how I crinkle straight synthetic hair. Typically, if I am making a synthetic wear, I don't like to keep it straight because keeping it straight allows it to tangle a lot quicker and get matted a lot easier. Plus, it kind of shows that it's synthetic just a little bit more obvious when it's straight to me. But I've seen a lot of people keep it straight and that's your preference. But for me, I just, I personally just like to have it just a little bit more messy and a little bit more curly or crinkly or kinky. For me, not only does it help it to last a little bit longer, but it also helps it to look a little bit more real. So I'm gonna show you the crochet, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you the crinkling iron that I use. So one, of, so one thing that I look for when I begin looking for a crinkling iron, is one that does not have sharp edges. This one is perfect because of the wavy kind of edges that it have, which creates like a more wavy look versus like a really crank look. Another really great thing about this particular iron is that it has levels. So it has like a, a low setting all the way up to a high setting. This is really important to me as well because if it only has one setting it's a good chance that it's going to be too hot for synthetic hair which would be useless for what i'm doing it for so of course with crinkles you have to like hold it and press it for a while if it's too hot you're just going to melt it or burn it and it's going to be absolutely useless so having settings allow you to keep it at the lowest setting which is ideal so really quickly, I'm just going to show you what I've already started on. So literally, I started on this and was like, hey, it might be a good idea to show this in the video, but I really like how it's coming along so far. I'm going to continue to crimp it on the video. As you can see, it went from absolutely pretty bone straight to a very interesting crinkle look. And literally, this is the same thing that I did with this hair. The only difference is that the texture or the hair brand was a little different. So it does feel a little bit different and look a little bit different than that one. So depending on the kind of hair that you, you're starting off with, the brand that you're starting off with, it may crinkle just a little bit different. What I also noticed was that the, the heat tolerance for different brands and different types of synthetic hair differ and it matters so you might want to do like a little tester on the kind of um, synthetic hair that you have just making sure that the heat is tolerant and that it can take and that your hair can take that amount of heat so yeah so just be mindful of that every synthetic hair won't necessarily be tolerant of that particular heat The iron that I have, it doesn't have a number. It doesn't have a setting number. So literally I just keep it on the, the first setting. So I can't even tell you what that heat tolerance is for this, for the hair that I'm working on now, or for this one. I just know it's on a low setting. It's probably 200 and something degrees. And that's just guessing, so sorry.
What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we have the faintest idea of what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What would, how would you really enjoy spending your life? Well, it's so amazing that the result of our kind of educational system, crowd of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, we can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. I said, you want to teach in the riding school? Uh, let's go through with it. What do you want? When we finally come down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it and you can eventually become a master of it. The only way to become a master of something is really with it. And then you'll be able to get a good feed for whatever it is. So uh, don't, don't worry too much, uh, that's, uh, everybody's, uh, somebody's interested in everything. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like and doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. See, what we're doing is we're bringing up children and educating them to live the same sort of lives we're living. so important to consider this question, what do I desire?
Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. That is the end of this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that it was informative. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel to catch more videos just like this. If you enjoyed watching it and you think other people would as well, please do share with your friends and your family. Until next time, God bless. Thank you.